That is just blowing my mind. I don't... Well, carry on. Pran, working. Pran, working. Pran, working, working. Pran, Pran, okay. Welcome to Rise of the Red Shirt, everybody. Don't look. Don't just just move on. Don't look. Don't think about it. Welcome to Rise of the Red Shirt. Last time we stopped the signal, and now we're going to be doing. Let's get to my ready room. D d d d d. Come and knock on our door. Cling on front. Last time we stopped the signal, and now we're going to do researcher rescue. This is pretty much the mission to grind Gorn on. You're going to see what I'm talking about later. There's going to be a lot of Gorn slaughter later on. Oh yes. Love it. So let's go ahead and jump on in. Starfleet has lost contact with the Federation Science Station in the Kasei system and the Kasei sector of the Regulus sector block. So we're changing sector blocks now. Because all communications from Kasei 2 must be boosted by a satellite that compensates for Metrion isotopes prevalent in the system, it may be that the communications array is in need of repair. Please make the necessary repairs to the communications array and re-establish contact with the science station. Oh, that seems like a mission where nothing could possibly go wrong, which of course means everything will. This is pretty much the only mission in the game where you beam in with everything on fire. And I'm not quite sure about Bran's change in behavior, but I'm fairly certain it may have something to do with the fact, let's see, that I have his old boss's head as a trophy. I think that might be it. I'm not sure. Go ahead and get ground, Jem'Hadar. I like it that you walk into my office and there's just, like, fucking knives and shit all over my wall. <laughs> Uh, I've also gotten... What else have I gotten? I've also gotten the, uh... Let's see. Some trophies. I've also gotten the Ground Romulan Trophy, which, to be honest... Kinda not worth it. it, it it's the Romulan Raptor, and it's just... It's not really... Yeah, you know, it, it isn't as awesome as this, or like a Breen Head, or... The Azur or the uh, Azur trophy. It's yeah no. It's just kind of yeah. I'm I'm the Romulan Raptor. Yeah, I'm sitting on your wall. But uh, this is like fucking knives, fucking blades and stuff. Yeah. I also have like a Cardassian gun, but it doesn't have like the Cardassian signal be like symbol behind it, which it probably should. It's just kind of like this energy rifle, which I guess kind of makes sense from a role playing standpoint. You know you're. You're, you're the captain, you've always got a weapon in your ready room in case of whatever, hostile borders or what have you. It'd be actually cooler if I could actually, upon unlocking that accolade, use that gun. You know, if it were some kind of, like, special weapon that... I almost said leveled with you, but then the PvPers would be bitching at me. Um, <laughs> but, you know, it's it just some kind of, like, spe like, special gadget weapon. It didn't really, you wouldn't really have to do much. Just, you know, be cool and at least a little bit useful. And you could roleplay it like, you know, your captain always had like a weapon on the wall in case of whatever. I think I already said that. So I'm going to pet my treble first. Yeah, stroke the treble. Stroke the treble. So wrong. Okay, let's leave the ship interior. I believe I am still over the Bomari system from the last one. I intended to record yesterday, but there was a lot of shit going down yesterday with the servers and what have you. So, yeah, I'm having to do it late Saturday. Sorry about a little audio hiccup. Oh, they still haven't fixed this, though! Oi! Wee! Okay. So we're changing to the Regulus Sector block, which has its own intro. Now, last time, I played Spock's monologue, or Leonard Nimoy, whichever, you know, however you would like to think, however, however you want to, like, call it, like, Leonard Nimoy's voiceover or Spock's narration, whatever. Uh, I played it before the video because, well, we had already been in the Sirius Sector block. 
But uh, this time, it's going to be like, whenever we go to a new sector block, I'm going to call up the data recorder and uh, play the narration for that sector block. So it's not going to be its own little thing before the beginning of every video. It's going to be happening as we transition to new sector blocks, as it would happen if you were playing the game for the first time. And uh, let me go ahead and equip my assimilated sub-transwarp engine. So I can go at warp 14. Fuck you, threshold. <laughs> More Klingons. They must just be chilling because nothing is really going on right now. I'm still waiting for like the Jesus. What the? Wait a minute. Go back. <laughs> What? There is some sketchy ass stuff going on with all of the like the cargo ships and the Ferengi ships in the Sirius sector block. I don't know if this is in other sector blocks. I don't think so. But in Sirius sector block, there's always some kind of freaky oddity going on between them. It's just what's going on there? There's four of them stacked right on top of each uh, on top of each other. Do they know space is big? I mean, they know that, right? They don't have to fly, like, an inch from each other. They're, like, lined up like cheerleaders. What's going on? And the Ferengi is just trying to get through, and I... Oh, God. I can almost hear horns blaring right now. That's just... Oh, no, that's another bit of news uh, about what's coming up, is there's going to be high-stakes Dabo added to the game. Dabo is a sort of... Uh, kind of like roulette. It's kind of, it's kind of like space roulette. And uh, it, you saw it all the time in, like, Deep Space Nine. Uh, there's going to be high-stakes Dabo added to the game, though. And what it means by high-stakes is you can bet more energy credits, and there will be a reward of a Ferengi ship. Which... I have to say, whatever you think of the Ferengi, the Marauder is cool. The Marauder is a cool-looking ship. And that would certainly help if somebody was role-playing, say, as a mercenary who had been hired by uh, Starfleet, because I know a few people who do. Oh, I wish they fixed this. Okay, here we are in the regular sector block. For the first time in this playthrough. So I am going to... Let's see. We are going to listen to the dulcet tones of Leonard Nimoy. Hidden dangers lurk in space, and the threat of Klingon attack has made even the most stout-hearted reconsider their choice to travel throughout the stars. A last-ditch effort to find a common ground could end this conflict but there are many who oppose peace. So there you go. New selection. Aha, okay. So there you go. Regular sector block intro. Common Ground is in fact the name of the uh, Season 1 update, which added the Borg content. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that that common ground is what added Gamma Orionis and the uh, Rear Admiral ranks. Or not the Rear Admiral ranks, but uh, like the very a lot of the stuff that you have at Endgame now, such as the special tasks for special task forces and what have you. So where is the Cassay system? It's at the very end of the sector block. Of course it is. It always is. But I have assimilated sub transwarp engines. Now picture, if you will, playing this for the first time. By far, one of my biggest complaints against the game is the size of the sector blocks. Although, you know, it, it's not, it's kind of like a double-edged thing, you know, it's, uh, at, you know, at one time it takes too long to traverse them, but at the other, they're like boxes, and I would like them to be expanded. So it's kind of like, you know, I like, it, it, it's weird, I'm, it's weird for me, but, um, I got along fine, 
but it does get, you know, go pour yourself something to drink. You're going to have enough time to do that. Well, I'll, I'll just say that. Uh, they actually have been talking to their technology department on expanding, expanding it into one giant block. You know, they're seeing, they're not doing it yet, but they're seeing if it's technically feasible. Because, you know, it's a bunch of instanced areas, and that would require a complete overhaul of this, how the sector blocks work. So, um, yeah. I could see that being really cool. And also really confusing. But, um, that's a tale for another time. Well, not really. You get what I mean. You get what I'm saying. And someone has summoned the Azura, too. So, while it is here, I'm going to take advantage of that. And bank some shit. Well, not this. I'm going to sell that. Let's see. Deuteron. Anion, Verdeon, Beta Tachyon, Deuteron. And you are not a chronometric. That's for damn sure. Let's see. Chronometrics. Man, I, I'm never getting chronometric drops now. Like, never. They are never showing up for me. Let's see. Put it on that one. Put this one here. Put that one on my stack of alcohol. Let's see. Discard all. I don't need engine. you over here. Let's see. No, I don't want it. I didn't want info. I wanted to get rid of this shit. Let's see. Small small power cell. Anything I need a power cell against, a small power cell won't help me against it anyways at this point. Um, let's see. And uh, this, by the way, is a frequency remodulator. You're not going to be seeing me use this for a long while. That's end of the game. So let's go over to Lima and give her some small hypos. Oh, she's already got 20. All right. All righty. Pran need any shields? No. Revenge need any shields? No. Eight. No. Okay. Where the hell are we? There we are. You know, I, I understand why it has such a long cooldown, because, you know, you don't want the sector block full of, like, Azura 2s. But why would you have, you know... But here's a thought. The only reason the Azura 2 is showing up right now as, like, a ship is because, well, that's kind of cool. You know, you can summon it, and it shows up, and you can drop your stuff off. But why don't you... Why isn't it just... Why doesn't it just allow you to hail it from anywhere? So that fewer people would have to constantly go to star bases. I'm serious. Go to Earth Space Dock. Like, go to Earth Space Dock on a system that isn't bleeding edge. And you'll see what I mean. It's... Ugh. Okay, patrol Cassé system. Let's go. Let's go. Damn it. <laughs> Nothing's doing what I tell it to. Ah. Kevin, 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 Kevin. Kevin? What the fuck did that come from? Space. Captain, there are multiple Gorn ships in range of the communications array. We'll need to deal with them before we can assess the damage to the array. Shields up. Prepare for combat. Alright. These guys are not going to be that big a threat, but whatever.
Do 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 do. Damn lizards. Captain, the communications array has been heavily damaged by the Gorn. At this range, I should be able to contact the research station on Kasei 2. However, the station is not responding to hails, and scanners are detecting signs of a fire on the station. Sir, the researchers may be in trouble. Recommend we send an away team to the surface. Okay, I'll beam down with the hazard team. And Pran is actually doing something useful, so I think this time I'll take Chal. Come on, Chal. Pran, keep up the good work? I don't. Let's just, 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 just go. Oh, my head. Bad shit has happened here. The Gorn, they just stormed in and started shooting. Tell us what happened. The first sign of trouble was when we lost contact with the communications array. The Gorn beamed in and started shooting. They destroyed our computer core and took thousands of artifacts that we've spent years collecting. Then, as if destroying decades of archaeological research weren't enough, they started setting fires! What are you researching here? Captain Jean-Luc Picard and the crew of the USS Stargazer discovered ruins from an unknown civilization here almost 60 years ago. The Federation Science Council has been researching this site ever since. It's a fascinating find. There are more than 40 kilometers of catacombs under this facility. We've barely managed to explore a quarter of what we think is here. Two years ago, we found a star chart in the catacombs that indicated that the civilization had contact with interstellar travelers more than 15,000 years ago. The chart led us to another site on Kasei 4, which we found the most... The chart led us to another site on Kasei 4, where we found the most extraordinary artifacts. If we're correct, the race that once lived here may have been an advanced proto-reptilian race. Why would the Gorn attack here? The Gorn have extremely long memories, Vice Admiral. Thousands of years ago, the Gorn hegemony ruled this entire sector. In their minds, that means that everything on these planets still belongs to them. Their alliance with the Klingons has inspired them to start rebuilding their empire. Every planet from here to Cestus III is in danger. Did everyone escape the fire? Not everyone. There are several members of our team still unaccounted for. Please, you must find them. The Gorn destroyed our... The Gorn destroyed our automated fire suppression system in the initial attack. You will find fire suppression devices on the walls that you can use to fight the fires. One to beam up. Good luck to you two. You guys wait here. <laughs> 